Hi, church family. As I was thinking about yesterday, as Pastor Ty called us all to pray and fast, I remember one of my favorite lessons that I've taught to kids. As a children's ministry director, one of my favorite things to do is to hear them pray. I hope you guys are enjoying hearing them on Kids Church as much as I am. So I thought today I'd share a lesson with you that I've shared with them many times, teaching them how to pray. Our story today comes out of the Jesus Storybook Bible for Kids. How to pray. In those days, there were some extra super holy people, at least that's what they thought, and they were called the Pharisees. Every day, they would stand out in the middle of the streets and pray loud in extra super holy voices. They weren't really praying so much as they were showing off. They used lots of special words that no, were so clever, no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's what they wanted. They wanted everyone to say, look at them, they're so holy. God must love those people the most. Now, you and I both know they're wrong. God doesn't just love holy people, but the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did have to be really clever or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of clever words to speak to God. So one day, Jesus taught people how to pray. He said, when you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people. They think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or good or so important that God will listen to you. God listens to you just because he loves you. Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whispers deep inside your heart, even before you started to say them? Because God knows exactly what you need even before you asked them, Jesus told them. You see, God can't wait to give you all that you need. So you don't have to learn long or special words. You don't have to use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice, just like you're talking to someone you love very much. Pray like this. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you, and we want to be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again, and in our hearts too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven. And please do it down here too. Please give us everything we need for today. Forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us, we need you. We don't wanna keep running away or hiding from you. Keep us safe from your enemies. You are a strong God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge now and forever and always. And we think you're great. Amen. You see, Jesus was showing God's people that he would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever kind of love. So they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed. They could stop running away from God and they could run to him instead, just as a child runs into their daddy's arms. In a world that's already so complicated with ever-changing policies and rules, prayer doesn't have to be. Jesus loves you, and he is inviting you as his child to come to him, to talk to him about all of your needs, and to ask him because he loves you.